What's up, YouTube world? Uh, we're going to talk to you guys today about when you wake up and you get started in your day. Do you kind of take five minutes out, just five minutes out, to um, think about your day, kind of plan it out, or even uh, from a spiritual side of it? do a, a daily devotional with a, a Bible or a spiritual book or or even a book like um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People uh, by Stephen Covey or even you know like you're just planning your day taking time out for yourself to clear your thoughts as you wake up because you got a lot of things on your mind and when you're in management you're dealing with people, you're dealing with your customers, you're dealing with all the problems associated with your business. So if you're in landscape, lawn mowing, lawn care, lawn maintenance, you get all these problems. You got a lot of rain that's impacting the growth of the uh, grass and plants, and you might get washed out for your job, depending if you're in construction. You might have too much water on the lawn, so you're going to have to skip lawns. Um, you might have disease infection when a customer calls up. I mean, these are a lot of problems. Then you got your home life. You know, you got your family, your children, your wife. You got um, other ec extracurricular activities you might be doing. You might be a part of a civic group. You might go down to city hall to support the local political system. You might go uh, to the school board. You know, to help. Uh, chair on issues that are associated with the school. Uh, you might go to watch your kids at um, other activities like uh, baseball, football, gymnastics, tennis, depending on what time of the year it is, and all that. Um, could be off season, you know, during the winter months when there's not so much line maintenance and all that to worry about. Maybe snow plowing during the winter. Depending on where you are. In Florida, there's really not a snow plow. But um, there are other things that we do do, uh, more like a, a cleanup. We cut uh, bushes way back, um, some trees way back. Um, we might be taking trees out and putting new trees in, um, things like that in Florida. So back to the daily devotion. This is the reason for the video, really. If you're looking for a daily devotion, if you're looking for five to ten minutes of your morning looking and studying the Bible or looking and studying a book that helps you get clarity, that's what you do. And there's five to ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes at the most, you know, and uh, just read it. It's for like wisdom. Like, uh, here's one. It's a Bible reading plan, Old and New Testament. So that's right there. It's really simple. Uh, they get different plans here on the um, internet. And you can have like Job. See like Job, the story of Job, if you never read it, it it's considered one of the oldest books of the Bible. It, um, and it's, it's a story about a man that was the most successful man in the town or country, wherever he was from. And he, had, he got challenged by God to be a good man. And he did what was right most, if not all the time, and lost everything. He lost everything. And how do you lose everything? But it's an interesting, interesting story to, to study, to understand that sometimes by your mistakes, by your small mistake. You will lose or you will gain. And it's it's hard to take on. 
the fact that you will lose so much sometimes and you will gain a lot sometimes. But if you win, if you win big time by gaining and doing the right thing consistently, it's usually little small steps, right? You eat an elephant one bite at a time. Because I promise you, your, your, your mouth is not big enough to eat an elephant in one bite. I can get, I guarantee you that. But if you can be patient, then you will win. You listen to your customers. You, in all stressful situations, life, the most successful people, I think, have handled all the challenges that they've taken on with patience, seeking wisdom, and being the person that takes a nice deep breath and refocuses and recorrects himself and um, prays about it, seeks clarity, seeks wisdom, constantly seeking wisdom to better undercome um, the minor setbacks that you have. I think that's what a daily devotional does in your life. Um, sometimes there are books that might not be helpful, but I think the Bible is probably the m most beneficial book in the area of wisdom. It's uh, It has a lot of history to it. It's thousands and thousands of years old. And when you read it, you can s get understanding, get truth from it, get uh, wisdom from one of the most successful, if not the richest person ever, who ever, ever lived, King Solomon. Uh, you can get success stories from Moses. You can get success stories from Jesus. You can get success stories from Paul. And you can also read Job, which is probably the most interesting story of all in the Bible. I've probably li listened to it probably a hundred times in the past three years since my divorce. Because, you know, I'm like, okay, what just happened here? Like, it, when you get into a divorce, it's like the worst thing that can happen to a man. For women, it's like, oh my goodness, I can get out? I can get out of this? And a man's like, I've been doing everything. Wait a second, I've been doing everything. I've been going to work. I've been been providing for the family. I've been paying the bills. I've been doing, I mean, if, if you're a good man, and you've been doing everything you should have been doing, you know, as a man, I'm not talking about those men that go and cheat on their wives. I'm not talking about men that go and do the wrong thing constantly, and they're surprised one day that their wife gets up and leaves their ass. I'm talking about my side of the story, where I did the right thing constantly. I did the right thing. I woke up early, I went to work, and I got home late. And we took our vacations, we took our travel things. Those are the things you do. So when you're looking at Job, you can relate. When you uh, seek understanding, you will find understanding. Um, I think Psalms, Proverbs are great books to read through. Um, if you like this video, if you like this video, give it the big thumbs up, like and subscribe, share with others. Check us out on Patreon and other social websites. And as always, stay tuned or look for more videos that we're coming out with. I'm going to talk about lawn care. I'm going to talk about daily devotion notes. I'm going to talk about things that I think will benefit you in your life. If you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian. If you're in the lawn business or you're not in the lawn business. I'm just here to share some thoughts. And you know, you might be at a point in your life where my ideas or my thoughts might benefit you. And I appreciate your time and have a great day.